Who do you think should be responsible for America's health care? Individuals, employers, or government? Individuals. But I think you want me to elaborate, don't you, Grace? Please. I think individuals are responsible for their own health first and foremost, but of course we know, starting decades ago, that's not the way this country began to operate. We began to put more emphasis on employers providing health care, and that's a system that we're in. I am an employer, and every year I can share with you, it's the toughest decision my wife and I have to make when we sit down for, in our case, in June, and that is decide to what extent we're going to, we're going to ensure our employees and their families. It's a, it's a very, very difficult decision because our premiums, like most of yours, are going up double digits. This year it was 14%, last year 16%, and yet we have a pretty healthy workforce. But I think that in America, one thing that we see is uh, this, this new view of insurance as being something that should care for every single need. When I buy car insurance, I don't bill Allstate when I have to change my windshield wipers. Nor should I bill or ask my insurance company and my health coverage to be taking care of every little check-in that I go and see my doctor. We have to take personal responsibility of healthy living, but we also need to find ways that companies such as mine who wish to insure their people can do so affordably. And you can do that if you provide access to everybody. If everybody has a Lamborghini, then Lamborghinis become even more expensive. So, the system becomes more expensive. If everybody has health insurance, our costs will continue to rise. We have to make sure that people have affordable health coverage that can start with legislation, but ultimately it comes down to our personal responsibility.